Hey, I'm Michael with the Align Ballet Method, and I'm here with my last video with our guest demo dancer, Mari New. It's great to have her today. Thank you for being here. And we are going to work on a uh, step that everyone always has questions about. Everyone wants to know, how do I have a beautiful, great grand jeté? Uh, I think that's a complicated question, um, and I'd like to work on the idea of coordination. Something I talk about frequently is the coordination of the whole phrase. So we're going to just have Mari come back. We're going to go back, and we'll have her just walk through, and you can try this at home, not even into the jump, but let's just do the tombe pas de bere glissade. Tombe pas de bere and beautiful glissade, exactly. Good. Why don't we show that to the other side? So, tombe, beautiful, pas de bere, and so de shah. Yeah, exactly. Or grand jeté. What I love that she's doing that I see a lot of students do not do, which I'd like you to practice, is the coordination between the arms and the legs. That when you're making this first motion, you see that coordination here, and I go pas de bere, and there. You see that? So it's almost as if your fingertips and your toes are connected to one another. That will help you produce a very fluid tombe pas de bere. Let's just watch her do that again one more time. She goes, ah, yep, ba, ba, ba. yes, exactly, good. Are you good to show the full, yeah, are you good to show the full thing now into the air? Amazing. Amazing, good, rest, come back. I got a follow camera, can we see that one more time? Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, that was great. When you're ready. When you're ready. Yes. Very good. Amazing. <laughs> Beautiful, good. Good thing my camera moves, because <laughs> Mari, cover some ground. That's amazing. Yeah, good. So one thing I've urged our students to do, one little tip and idea, is you want to build momentum. I always talk that this is like a plane taking off. This diagonal is a runway. And you want to connect all these steps together. Ba, 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 ba. And then I find at the end of the glee, the glee, what my, my major thing that students do generally when they learn this phrase is they make an enormous glissade. And then they make a modest size grand jeté. The glissade, remember, is only a preparation to build momentum into the air. So the way I like to think of the glissade is actually thinking of going into the floor to go out of the floor. That's a common mistake. I've seen dancers make. They go tombe parbre and they go glissade super big. And when you spread your legs, I mean, yes, it's, of course it's nice to open and spread the leg, or it's nice to stretch the legs in the air. Of course, we want that. But don't get too high off the ground in the glissade. You want to be taking the glissade down to go up. It's like a trampoline. We go and tombe parbre down up, down, up, out, and then you, you've dispersed your energy by that time. Do you have anything, let's come back up, do you have anything else to add on this kind of step? Um, sort of building onto the small glissade, something that makes this step super exciting and also more dynamic, and will help you get a higher jump and a bigger split, is working on the timing. So instead of doing it even one and uh, two and uh, this is the same tempo, you can do a one and pull out and a one so that that's sort of that you get that excitement you get the dynamics of it being a different tempo and it's not all on one plane because we want it to be sort of down and extend and uh, up instead of just 
discipline level. Yes. The timing will help you build that strength as well to get into the jump. Very good, yeah. It's a phrase you have to do over and over, and you'll do it thousands of times because this is given in ballet class every day, all day long, all over the world. So it's a commonly used phrase. And the, the more you do it, the more coordination. You'll start to feel it begin to have its own natural power. But why don't we just go ahead. Um, One more quick important thing is to make sure that you're keeping your chest forward. Because I know, especially with a lot of my beginner students, they tend to get nervous about the jump, and they're kind of back here. Yeah. And you think that to lift your chest, you have to throw your back that way. But actually, you'll jump higher if your chest is forward. So you almost want to like reach towards that front leg instead so that you're keeping yourself over your legs. Very good point. The other thing they do is very good point. Even before the jump, they'll go like this. They'll do the tombe pas de beret. This is a... I'm always like pushing on their shoulders over. You want to, yes. Yeah. There is that little, but you're going to recorrect. You know, that's very advanced sort of like style. But generally, you want to be over your hips. See, I could have a little combre there, but I'm not back here. Very good. Very good. Okay. And when you push off the floor, obviously at the height of the jump, we want a little with the legs, if you can, if you have that kind of flexibility to open the legs <laughs> in the air. I mean, you can, even if it's small, even if it's just a small, if you look at like Sleeping Beauty's entrance, Aurora's entrance, she takes little grand jetés uh, in attitude and they are very sharp but they're only like 45 degrees so sort of like that you know like this low angle but you still get what you're talking about so you don't have to have full splits to get that little pop in it can be low very good it's a lifetime of work let's try let's watch mari do this okay i'm going to we're going to back up the music and uh, just hopefully you will learn by watching She's going to do a few of these. AlignBalletMethod.com if you want to train with us online. And uh, here we go. Music. 